Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to Russell Heritage Golf, joined by George. Yeah. Once was a two handicapper. Now, now one. Now a one. Moving in the right sort of direction. He's just been filling me in on some of the rounds of golf he's been playing recently, which has been good. What we're going to be doing today is talking very much about the transition. Transition is the start of the downswing. And what we're trying to do is that you've got options, right? First things first, we're going to be talking about a very rotational lead transition, okay? What you're trying to do in the transition is you're trying to move your body so you can control the low point, which basically just means strike the ball well. So if you're somebody who knows that you move well by moving quite linear, uh, sorry, you strike the ball well by moving quite linear, fine. Don't change it for the sake of changing it. But a lot of golfers that I meet want to look more handle driven, do you know what I mean? Controlling that. Now that's going to come from a much more rotational live uh, driven transition right the common mistake that you need to avoid is the cause and the effect now what i mean by this is when we look at tour pros and you're gonna to have to demonstrate this right so swing up to the top and pause what we see with tour pros is in transition is they separate so they move the lower body away swing up again and pause and then do it again for me yeah now what we can see do it again for me one more time george thank you so what we can see is when George is demonstrating that separational movement, which means the lower body is rotating away from the upper body, it creates a bend in the spine. And as the spine then starts to bend, things like the shoulder start to drop. What tends to happen with golfers, I think, is that we look at the shoulder and we go, right, I'm going to focus on my shoulder, but the shoulder is a byproduct of the rotational movement. Now, the other thing is, let's go up to the top again. I'm going to, uh, sorry, George, actually start again for me. So I'm gonna put this club here uh, on George's uh, shoulder line. So if you swing up again and pause and then transition for us again, yeah, we can see the way that George gets the shoulder back over towards that line, which is a really important reference because if you swing up again and this time don't find the line, so come down a little early, yeah, either spinning out or more commonly for amateurs, you go up, yeah? And up, which basically means shoulder goes up doesn't come down it's going to lend itself to sort of shallow hitting not great ball striking and i get it because you're going to be fearful of the idea of moving this way because it will feel over the top yeah now another demonstration so up to the top again now this time i want you to rotate the lower and the upper at the same rate so kind of show us an over the top move yeah exactly so that's over the top over the top is when your upper body and your lower body are moving at the same rate of rotation. This would mean that your head would move, if you just keep repeating that for a little bit, so like George's head is moving and it's no good. But the fix, in my opinion, isn't to just, you know, drop the shoulder and hang back, because then you go back to the shallowing, right? So the fix has to be, you have to separate. So as you now, yeah, exactly. So show us that again. So show us the over the top move and pause. Right now, stay there, but open up your lower body more. Very good. And then we can see the way that, again, it creates a bend in the spine, which means the shoulder lifts. Now, again, George has given the demonstration and you'll be like, yeah, it's all well and good for, for him, right? <laughs> Mr. Contortion over here. I get that, but my point is, you'd have to do it to the extreme. Yeah. Like you look at DJ would be an extreme, right? He's somebody who, by left arm horizontal, the pelvis is open, yeah. right? That's why you see such a drop in the shoulder height for him. For somebody like myself, don't drop at all. The great examples of golfers who separate the lower body, but they don't side crunch per se. But you've got to figure this out, right? Because if your ball striking is not great, you're going to have to try and do something in the start of the downswing to influence it. And like I said at the beginning of the video, one option, just move lateral, fine. You're potentially going to be limited with things that you can do from such a lateral driven downswing but there are hybrid versions of this as well, right? There's lots of different ways of doing this. The point of this video is to try and avoid common mistake. And, and my common mistakes that I tend to see when I chat to people are things like they're trying to drop the shoulder down or, you know, when they rotate, they don't have the confidence because they're worried about swinging over the top and they tend to just experiment and get caught in between all of these different things. And what I'm trying to say is that the separation is the thing that drops the shoulder and it's the thing which helps you gain confidence in getting in front of the ball which is kind of what you're doing right yeah. so what we're desperately trying to do which would hopefully be relatable for a lot of golfers is we're trying to eliminate one side of the course yeah, yeah? to do that 
we have to get the shaft angle under control. Yeah. To do that, realistically, so the more, if I try and hold onto this angle, the more we rotate, the more that brings the arm down towards that impact it area. Stops the hands kind of exactly. And if your hands start moving a bit this way at the bottom, then it affects the club path, which is where we were a little out to in, you know, and that's basically why it's such an important move. But you have to do it to your physical ability. I completely get that. And you have to do it to your need as well. So if you're hitting the ball okay and the ball strikes good and the flight and stuff is good, nice shot, then just keep doing what you're doing. But if it's not, then it's possibly worth looking at doing this. Now there's going to be loads of videos on the channel coming up in and around this subject area on things like separation, how it should feel. So if you haven't already done so, subscribe. It's absolutely free to do so. Press the little bell icon, it means you receive notifications every time a new video comes out. Lower body, it will feel over the top. The thing that stops it being over the top is that the lower body works at a faster rate of rotation than the upper body. Catch up with you guys again soon.